Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners. Today we're going to tie a bead eye quill body nymph. This is going to be a mayfly. The thread I'm going to use is brown. This is 70 denier. The hook is a size 14 standard nymph hook. We're going to put a few wraps right in front of the eye or in back of the eye. We're going to make an open a little bit of an opening there and then put a few more wraps in the back of that. This way we have a bump, plain shank, and a bump and then the beads, the bead chain eye will not move. I'm using a standard pull chain and I cut two off and I'm going to tie them in right inside the two bumps. Five turns one way, take it cross over and do about five turns the other way. Then you can put five turns under the beads and on top of the shank. And then you can repeat. I'm gonna turn the hook upside down I'm going to put a little bit of head cement right between the beads. Now you can leave this with the silver beads. I'm going to take a black marker and color the beads black. I'm going to take the thread back to the tail position. And we're going to stop just about where it would hang at the barb. Here I have a hen hackle. It's a bit ginger and it's a bit dark. I'm going to use this for both the tail and for the legs in the front. I'm just going to wrap the hackle in the front at the end. So I'm going to take a little bit of the uh, barbels and use them for the tail. We want that tail to be about the length of the body. We're going to wrap that in. I'm going to bring the thread back going to take my strip peacock hurl I'm going to tie that in leave that tag go all the way up front and we're going to tie that in bring my thread forward Now at this point, this is important that you turn the hook over because this is the way it's going to ride in the water and you want to make sure you have your wing case on the bottom of the hook. I even myself, I end up with the wing case by the beads and it's on the wrong side. Make sure that you turn it over. We're going to put some head cement on the shank. And then we're going to wrap the peacock curl. This is a long one, so I don't need any hackle pliers. Just take a, a long peacock curl and rub it with the eraser. Flip it over and rub it with the eraser. And it will come off. The barbels will come off the hurl very easily. And we're going to bring that up front. I'm going to go further than I need to. I'm just going to bring my thread back to where the thorax would start. And I'm going to tie this off. Now for the wing pad, I have a 
golden pheasant tail center. This is nice, going to make a nice molted wing pad. You can use any uh, pheasant tail that you'd like. Here I cut a section out of the golden pheasant tail and I lacquered it. Put some head cement on there and let it dry. We're going to tie that in It's okay if it's if it's off to the side there. It's gonna have to be. Make sure I have it. There we go. I'm going to run the thread up. I'm going to trim this off. I'm not going to use that for legs because I got lacquer on them. You can use those for legs if you make sure you don't put lacquer on the tips. For the thorax, I'm going to use March Brown Antron Blend dubbing, and we're going to dub this. You don't need to make the noodle really skinny because you want a fat thorax, so you want to make a, a fat noodle. You still want it to be fairly tight. You don't want it so fat that it's all loose. And we're going to wrap that. There we go. I'm going to take the feather that I used for the legs and I'm going to remove the rest of that top. We're going to tie this in by the tip. I'm going to tie it in with the curve to the shank of the hook. And that will help us to have the hackle barbels going towards the rear. When we wrap it. And we're going to trim off the excess. I'm going to take a hold of the stem. And we're going to wrap this. And we're going to tie that off. I'm going to divide the legs to each side. I'm going to move my, our thread up in front of the eyes. It's going to do a little bit of a crossover to clean that up. Take our wing bud, fold that over. And we'll secure that. Put a few wraps in front. Keep that material away from the eye. Get rid of the excess. Take our whip finish and finish that off. Get some head cement on there. You can put some head cement on your wing, on your wing case. Put a little bit of head cement on the bottom there, and here we have a bead chain quill body mayfly nymph. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.